up everyone fluffy here back with another mukbang what i have for you today and i did not do a close-up because of the type of meal that it is um, so what i have for you today is the tv dinner i know i know i just got through talking to sarah jane about processed foods and all y'all on that video but i also told you that um we all backslide and with the daughter having been sick and you know i can't stand up for very long i got her a few tv dinners when i did a walmart shop and um i picked up two for me and uh one of them they were out of so i only got this one and what this one is i'm sure i put it in the title already and you saw it on my thumbnail it is the hungry man selects and it is the spicy classic fried chicken so i've never had that the banquet fried chicken TV dinners, the real cheapy ones, those are my favorite. So I've never really had the Hungry Man chicken. I watch it's the same company, <laughs> which is good for me. So it says it's spicy. It's got, let me, well, let me take the lid off. How about that? Tender dark chicken portions with homestyle mashed potatoes and mixed vegetables. And it includes an apple dessert. That little bitty dot right here. <laughs> See if I can put it closer. Oh, you see it dripping? Oh, I can't wipe it because every time I do that, I put it on pause and we're sick of me messing up videos. <laughs> I'm using a fork like a grown up and I did not bring a spoon as backup, so we'll see how far we get. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. And because, the, I mean, it's chicken, so it's good protein, and this is not a bad meal, you know, the mixed veggies. It's the fact that it's processed, and I'm sure there's like a ton of preservatives in here, which is why we really shouldn't, yeah. See that? All that's all the ingredients, and none, you know, it doesn't say just chicken mash, but you know what I mean? So, but haven't had one in a while, been trying to be real good about what we've been eating. So, having said that, you know, we snark down a lot of my birthday cake. Um, and then I have V8. My daughter managed to find the small cans at Aldi's again. Uh, one can of veggies. I try to have one every day and then we ran out and of course I didn't go run to the store to get some more. I have lemon water. My daughter's going to be so happy that I did the lemons myself. And then, yes, of course, shut up Mona, but it's the small one. So let's get started. So, cause I've been talking for three minutes and haven't eaten caca, so let's get going. What should I have first? Let's try the taters, because you know I love mashed potatoes. Mmm. Oops. All right, what is it about potatoes? They're cold. Five minutes in the microwave. Mmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I see them. Oh, these are like really, really hot. Maybe if I. Ow, ow, ow. How about that? I work on my chicken. Let's see if we can steam those suckers hot. What you think? Good ingenuity? And of course I'm going in for dessert first. I need to taste it. Apple pie filling, basically. You know the ones out of the can? But they put nutmeg in here. Interesting. Not terrible. Interesting. I, I think I like it. This chicken better be hot. Well, I like cold chicken. I just don't want frozen chicken. Oh, it's warm. Five minutes in the wave. Now watch. I'll, I'll be talking crap, and then it's going to hit me. Right now, I don't taste the, the spicy or fiery or whatever they call it. What do they call it? Can y'all tell me? Spicy. Nope. So, for those of y'all who joined me on my live at the book, no, at Dark 30, first of all, I thank y'all for joining me. Second of all, I'm so sorry how I ended that that quickly, but I saw him squatting. That little, that little turd doesn't wait. I'm surprised that one 
I stopped and, and he stopped. But I wanted to get him before, um, you know, he went in the house. Because y'all heard his tummy gurgling. I, I'm, if you didn't, I'd be shocked. Mm, that's good chicken, y'all. It's just not spicy. Which is fine. Just plain chicken. But false advertisement. I think I'll send a strongly worded letter. No. <laughs> But anyway, he made it. And then, after I ended the live, not that three hours wasn't enough for a live, I'm going to shut the phone up and let him out. <laughs> Think about it. Well, I didn't think about it till after. That is, I said it in the live, but for those of y'all that didn't make it, that right there is the flag that was on my daddy's coffin during his funeral. And me and the ex had bought the holder for her. So, when she was ready to let it go, she offered it to me. I was very honored because I have, and if you watch my old videos, I think I pointed it out. If not, it was definitely on the wall. In the casket, you know, the lid's open, the inside. And my mom had gotten a insert with a piece of blue, baby blue is his favorite color. And then an eagle on there because he loved eagles and he was in the army. And my daughter and my sister paid to have it framed. Well, the place gave it to me. I was always the last one up with my dad. You know, when we go on road trips, I would be the one to stay awake, even as a young child, and talk to him and stuff. And so, after the services, when they were closing the lid to the ca casket, they always ask everybody to step out, but I don't know why, but I couldn't do it. And so, when they were closing the casket, the guy asked me, do you, would you like the insert? I said, oh, it comes out? And he says, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. I said, yes, I would love to have it. So I thought he was going to pop it out and hand it to me. But he said, well, we've got to deliver flowers to your mother's house. Um, we'll just ship it with it. And I said, oh, okay. So I told my mom it was coming. But I told her, for one, you paid for it. And for two, I think it's, you know, if you feel the need to hang on to it, by all means. You know, I mean, the guy said I could have it. But, you know, that's, that'd be stupid for me to insist. So I just told her, when you're ready to let it go, I would like to have it back. You know, I would like to get it. And so I, I got it. So it, it was up. And we just, it's been a year, and we just haven't put anything on the wall. But I've got to put that up. I'd love to put it on this wall. So when people come in, they can see it right away. So, I'm sad. So enough of that sad sack stuff. Well, last Wednesday was my birthday. And no, I'm not saying it to get birthday wishes, because you don't have to do that. But since it was a weekday, my daughter was sick. Sarge, Mrs. Sarge had to work. So, on Saturday, we all went to eat pho, a Vietnamese food. And, y'all, I love pho. You know, I made, my daughter made me that vegetable pho. But we used a pho base from Amazon. Damn. Let's see if it heated up the potatoes. Mm. Um, you can really taste these are instant. But it tastes like potatoes, so. Um. Went to eat pho. She, um, we got there first, well, like super early, but then we went in to get a seat because it's a small place. And they walk in with a candy bouquet 
and I showed everybody in the live last night. Well, this is set up so precariously. I don't know. If, I don't know. I can't do it. I'm scared. But I took photos. And if I remember, I'll put them somewhere in here. It was a candy bouquet, a red plant, and then, and I have to take a separate picture because I kept the little plant thingy, and I can't reach it from here. Um, where does my claw wheel? I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Let's see if I can grab onto it well. If I break it, I'm going to be mad. This was the only thing that didn't make it in the picture. I guess I don't have to take a picture now that I'm showing y'all. Look how cute that is. Let me see if I can get you close to the details. Isn't that the cutest? This is ceramic. And there are the little things. So it was those two items. So three things. I was like, what? This was supposed to just be dinner. But I was secretly happy. Now, I really, and that's, that's what I told Miss, Miss uh, what I told Sarge, you know, we were saying, maybe we can do a vlog, maybe that can be our video together, but here are several reasons why we didn't, that I didn't want it. One, my daughter was going to be there, which meant if we were vlogging, she'd have to be quiet. Now, she wouldn't have to, but I already know how she feels about being on camera, so we had to make sure that we didn't shoot her, that we didn't catch her voice too much. And we wouldn't be living in the moment. And it's been so long since I had dinner with somebody or a meal with somebody other than family. I mean, Sarge and I went to dinner that one time and that was so nice. But, you know, to do it again with um, Mrs. Sarge. And I hadn't really had a chance to talk to Mrs. Sarge um, had it really co had contact a lot with Miss Sar with Sarge. And I'll explain that whole thing in another video. But so that's why I told her really, you know, I said you can if you want to, you know, on the way or whatever. But what I did do because it was the first time, <laughs> Sarge was like, "Are you sure you don't want this on camera?" Apparently, Sarge is a very, very picky eater. I mean, very picky. Um, so, it was very courageous of her and sweet of her to agree to try this Vietnamese food. So, there's two short clips. I don't mean sure, like, one's one minute and something, and one's like two minutes and something. That I took on my phone of her tasting it. She didn't spit it out. She ended up eating her meal. But I, she's, you know, she did admit that she would not go out of her way to come eat Vietnamese food. But I'll give it to her. She did eat and, and she did, uh, you know, try it. The whole point for telling you about the clips, I took them on my phone and when I tried to email her the video, even though we were only one or two minutes, or try to Facebook Messenger it, but told me that the video was too but too large and that I would have to edit it and cut it down. Or it compresses and it looks like crap. That's what happened to my short the last time views on the road and I collabed. By the time she got it, my little video she put in uh, was like really crap. And so I told her that. But I know with videos on your on your Facebook, you can right click and save the video as. And the last time I talked to her, she hadn't had it, but she gave me permission to use the videos, to put them in my one videos. And I wouldn't mind doing that, but I want to try to give her a shot at putting it on her channel. You get what I'm saying? So, I will ask her to check to see if she can get the videos to her computer so she can edit them and stuff. If she can't, then I'll put the videos 
somewhere in here, and I'm going to tell you, here, and I'm going to tell you, you will laugh your ass off. It was too funny. But I'll give it to her. I mean, I was just pretty nice. Not Christmas nice. There you go. Pot of bones for some reason. Um, but Sarge was really snazzied up. I was like, ooh, she snazzied up. She cleaned up. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I really did. And then my daughter, the little, little turd. Not turd. Little two. Excuse me. She goes and, um. She says, Mom, can we go to Walmart? She's on the way back from dinner. Can we go to Walmart so I can see if they have 65 cent donuts? Because she went the other night for something, and I can't remember. It was Tylenol or something. She comes back with these, you know, Walmart has a reduction rack of bakery goods and stuff. She comes back with a dozen cake donuts, nine or twelve of the cake style donuts for 65 cents. So, you know, I was wanting all the sweets out of the house because <laughs> I'm eating them. But I said, okay. So we go. She goes, you don't even have to go in. I said, okay. Yeah. She came out. If you want my Instagram, you saw the picture of my birthday cake. She found the perfect one. She didn't order it, so it was really weird that when she went in there that she found this particular cake. And I'll put a picture of it right here. Here. Wouldn't that, what Sarah Jane called it a sexy cake? And I got the topper off of it. Look, it's plastic. I used to own a pair of these in black. I would kill myself I'm trying to wear these now. <laughs> oh. But that was very sweet of her. She kept going, honest mom, I didn't go in there for that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, it was very sweet of her, so we had we came home and we had cake. you know money's been tight and she got sick so she couldn't go out on Wednesday and she felt bad I didn't have a cake and we have these we found them before and we had them in there for a while it's I think it's Pillsbury anyway it's mini cakes I mean they're so small we half it she gets half and I get half and and you mix it and you bake it in the container that it comes in you know you pull it out and there's already a bowl and she made that because we still had one. And so I was good with that kind of cake. I got a cake for my birthday, but I guess it wasn't good enough for her. <laughs> I guess a senior citizens need special care. for a reason. These aren't really bad. I like the spicy V8s. See, where do y'all fall on V8s? My dad was diabetic, so when my mom got really hot and heavy with uh, trying to make sure my dad ate well, she used to make spaghetti sauce with V8. Not a lot of sugar in here. and No sugar at all. I, I can't read that small print, so I'm not going to even pretend I can read it. But yeah, she used to use V8 juice <coughs> for a spaghetti sauce, and that came out really good. See, it's almost halfway gone. My daughter started drinking those too when we had them. Made her feel better too. <laughs> Y'all drama. 
with my mailbox. <laughs> well, not really, just one package in particular. You know, I had told you all that she's had that microphone that he wanted to send me. So I knew that was coming. Well, he's put two other things in there. One for my daughter and one for Sarge. So again, I've got to be careful when I open the package. Make sure I don't show hers. I will show you what my daughter got because she won't be on camera to get it. But I guess they were giving uh, cheese false information about when it was going to get here. And then he got notification that it was in Austin. It's about an hour and a half away from here. So I was going to check the box today. We started to check errands to run close by me. So she was, oh, okay. I got spice in this last piece. <laughs> It just hit my tongue. Um, so I was going to go to the P.O. box, pick up the package if it was there. I personally think it's not going to get here till tomorrow because you shot me an email this morning saying that it was being delivered or en route to deliver or something like that. <clears throat> and the sign says that all new, uh, all new mail would be there in the boxes by 11 a.m. So I'm thinking, well, if it was en route this morning, it may be on the way and I won't get it till tomorrow, but I was gonna check the mail, the P.O. box anyway. Then if it were here, Sarge was gonna swing by and pick up her thingy for it. And that was gonna work out really good. So, you know, I did that live. I didn't get to bed till like 6.37. I say that because my daughter left at 6.30 because, um, she wanted to leave early to go buy a cup of coffee. She didn't feel like making anything here. So. And I, right, within 10 minutes after she left, I'm like, okay, I can go to bed. And I woke up about noon. It's 2.03 now. Anyway, so I wake up. I've got voicemails. I've got, you know, that loan company. Call me. Remember, I told you we got the loan to get us through December and everything. So then I see a text. Mm -hmm. Got to be Sarge to say, hey, you know, have, you know, what time? Have you checked? Whatever. And from my kid. She said, yeah, so just so you know, I have your car keys. I'm like, what? So my foggy brain, I'm thinking, why does she have my car keys? Y'all, she got my car keys because I ended up not being able to go. Because I didn't get to bed really late. Again, on Saturday night, to be able to wake up at the butt crack of dawn on Sunday to go to breakfast and shopping with my mom. So, my daughter went because we needed some things from Aldi's. Because, you know, the veggies there and stuff are cheaper. So, she goes out and she says, I need your keys to get the wagon. I said, okay. Because I, for some reason, I had the wagon. I took the wagon because I wasn't sure how big the box was and stuff. Because I had checked last week. Anyway. Golly, I can circle the airport, can I? So... She comes in and says, I need to get the wagon out of your car. So she took my car, she takes my car keys. She puts them in her jacket pocket. You know, you unlock it, you put it in jacket pocket. She went to work with them and the P.O. box key is on my key ring. So I always know where it is. If not, I could have just told Sarge, hey, I don't have the keys to my car. You'll have to go to the P.O. box because she's done that for me before. Can't even do that. So I asked my daughter to stop by on the way home. So this video will probably come out before the other one. But as soon as I get it, I'll do a Fluffy's mailbox. So I'm really excited.
about 24 minutes for a TV dinner. I still have my dessert. Already done. That's why I like the little ones. It's almost like a shot of the eight. I was asking in the live, and more people watch these than the live, and let me know what you think. Be honest. In the very beginning of my channel, I've always been fascinated with the ASMR, the no-tox uh, mukbangs and stuff. Now, some of them I can't watch, like Kimmy's ASMR channel. And I love watching those to a point. I love cooking sounds, food frying, packaging, so I'll watch it up to that point. And then a minute or two into her eating, I can't listen to her. She has her microphone up way too loud. And there's too much of the, the smacking for me. Um, I play fast and loose with some, some of the video. The, I did two or three no talks. Fast and loose with the smacking, you know, I got in trouble before at dinner when I was little for smacking. And so when you get spanked for smacking, you tend to have that get out of you. So I kind of felt giddy and stuff when I was smacking on camera, but uh, I don't like to listen to it. Anyway, I stopped doing them because my microphones weren't strong enough. So now that I'm getting this one and I'm praying it's compatible and I can download the driver for this laptop. I'm really, I'm gearing myself so much, I don't want to be disappointed if it doesn't work. But if it works and I can get it to work, how would y'all feel about me doing the no talks? I mean, I really want to do them, you know, the ASMR and maybe do some, not role play, because I would feel silly doing a role play. I mean, I, 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 props and kudos to people that can do the role play ones, because I listen to two uh, haircutting role plays. I listen to it. I don't watch it, but I listen to it because because of the scissors. I love to listen to scissors cut. I know it's weird, right? That's why I'd ask y'all one time, what is your weird thing that you love listening to? Sound. And uh, so anyway, uh, I want to try to do a couple of those. What do you think about that? So the people last night said, yeah, and it was the same thought that I had. Maybe um, uh don't do one instead of a buck bong, you know, and that's what I thought. Well, if I feel up to it, I could do it in between, like today. If I had one schedule for today, like I did this off the cuff because I didn't want, I didn't realize it's been six days since I did my crab bowl, y'all. I apologize for that. But, um, so if one day I do a muck bong and then the next day I'll do a no talk, I can try that and see if I have enough energy to fit those in. But, uh, because people, I guess, love my commentary. You know, it's not just about the food. So let me know what y'all think. Because uh, I love the two water ones. Those were a fluke that I managed to get that footage in. I really enjoyed doing those because I like listening to them. I don't think I could maintain another channel to keep the two separated. You know, if you're really not into those, it's okay if you don't watch it. That's really fine. Just watch the commercial and they know. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just, you know, don't choose not to watch it. Because there are some, like... Um, Martin Nicky, I love watching him, love his vlogs, even though he makes me dizzy. Love you, Martin. I love watching his mukbangs, like watching his vlogs and stuff, but um, the few gaming ones that he does, it, I just don't watch them because it doesn't interest me, you know what I mean? Sometimes I'll get on and I'll watch his ad and stuff to help him out, but, uh, and he knows that, and I'm, you know, not all my videos are for everyone like my fibro video. I was really shocked at how many people watched it because it's a specific 
audience geared video. So, but, um, so just let me know what you think. So, 29 minutes. I think that's long enough for a TV dinner. I thank you all for coming to visit me and having lunch with me. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you everyone who showed up so late. I didn't realize there were so many night owls uh, because I couldn't sleep. And I thought, you know what? If I'm really quiet, maybe I can do a live. Haven't done one in a while. So uh, I did that and a lot of people showed up. It was almost just an all-girls night, which was kind of fun, like a slumber party. I uh, had a couple of people pop in, a couple of boys chop, pop in, cheese. Uh, James Lee and uh, Martin Nicky, Martin for Martin Nicky, they kind of popped in for a few minutes. I think they got intimidated from all the girl power in the room, but it was fun. We had a good conversation and I'm glad. And I had to leave abruptly because little man was about to leave me a gift on the carpet. So then I would have had to spank him and it was just been a whole ordeal. So, uh, but I thank you for showing up. <coughs> Excuse me. Gentle hugs to all you chronic illness people. Uh, regular hugs to everyone else. God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind. Always be kind. And I will talk to y'all real soon. Bye.